Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anil Kamath. I am a consultant surgical oncologist here at Helios Cancer Clinic. So I will take this opportunity to talk to you all about cancers of the parotid gland. If you have listened to my previous video, I have introduced where the parotid gland is situated. It is one of the salivary glands and it is situated in front of the ear and it is responsible for production of majority of the saliva. I have also told that most of the tumors which arise in the parotid gland are benign as many as 85 percent. The most common benign tumor is a tumor known as the pleomorphic adenoma. But there can be a few tumors which are cancerous or harmful. So how do we identify these malignant parotid tumors and how are they treated? In this video I will just walk you through these. So, what are the malignant parotid tumors? As many as 15% of the parotid tumors can be cancerous. That is, they have the potential to spread either to the lymph nodes in the neck or to far off areas like lungs, liver, etc. So how do these patients present? Now most of the time the presentation is quite similar to that of benign tumors. The patients present with a tumor around their ear in front of their ear. If there is involvement of the facial nerve, so if the patient already has weakness of the facial muscles, then there is more chance that these tumors are likely to be malignant. A more rapidly growing tumor is more likely to be malignant. And if there are enlarged lymph nodes in the neck, then these tumors are more likely to be malignant. Now apart from physical examination, the confirmation is got through a needle test what we call as FNAC. Apart from this, an imaging test like a CT scan or MRI of this region is also important. Now suppose the FNAC tells that this is a malignant tumor, then how do we proceed? Now the surgery which is done for a malignant tumor is a little different from that from a benign tumor. For a benign tumor, we remove only one portion of the parotid gland, a surgery we call as superficial parotidectomy or adequate parotidectomy. But most of the time, for malignant tumor, uh, tumors, the removal of the entire parotid gland, what is known as total parotidectomy, is required. Like in benign tumors, the most challenge, the biggest challenge here in this surgery is to preserve the facial nerve. If we cause damage, to the facial nerve, then this leads to weakness of the facial muscles and deviation of the angle of mouth and also difficulty in closing the eyelid. Now in malignant tumors, the, we have to remove most of the times we have to remove both the superficial lobe and the deep lobe. So we have to go on either side of the facial nerve. First remove the superficial part and then remove the deep part also. This surgery can be quite challenging. Sometimes the tumor may actually infiltrate the facial nerve and in these cases we have to sacrifice the facial nerve. Sometimes if it is possible we put a nerve graft to see if the nerve can be reconstructed. Apart from removal of the parotid we may also have to remove the neck lymph nodes in case of a malignant parotid tumor a procedure we call it as neck dissection. So this is how the surgery is done. Whatever we have removed will again go to the pathologist and finally we come to a conclusion regarding how big the tumor is, how aggressive it is or the grade of tumor, whether it has spread to any nearby structures or to the lymph nodes. So based on this a decision is made as to whether surgery alone is sufficient or we need to go for any further treatment like radiation. Chemotherapy is rarely used for parotid tumors. When properly treated, the results are quite good. So these are the things I wanted to talk about malignant parotid tumors. Thank you.